just got out of the shower, hence the wet hair and the ugly little moo moo thing. Side note, my best friend and I bought these at Walmart for like $11, and they're, I'll show you, they're just like terry cloth. They have a zipper in the front. They're like little moo moos that you can wear while you're getting ready. Who doesn't want to wear a moo moo while they're getting ready? I would do just a quick updated summer makeup routine um it's sunday i don't have anything going on might have something going on i don't know but i still like to do my makeup anyway so here oh i just broke my clip even more all right let's get to it so first things first i always pin my bangs back wow i look like a big mess also um I filmed a video with the winner of my contest, and unfortunately my MacBook would not let me upload it. it we'll see if it even lets me upload this video today. It's been a little shithead. Um, but my contest winner, her name is Leilani, so congratulations, and I will be sending you your package here shortly. So first up, I'm using my Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation, and I just use clean hands and my fingers, and I... Just use my fingers. Whatever. Ooh, I got a lot on there today. I know there's a lot of different techniques for foundation. I just personally like using my fingers. And it's cheaper and easier. But when I do makeup on other people, I like to use a foundation brush. Um, uh, my friend Chloe brought it up to me that I'm fortunate because I have really easy skin and so I can touch my face with my fingers and I don't get oily or greasy or little pimples but not everyone can do that. I'm aware of that. Next I'm taking my Hello Flawless Translucent Powder and just going over my face again to set my foundation. Again I'm not, whoa, as you can see, not a trained professional. I don't know if my techniques are right they might not be right for you. You might have a better way of doing it. This is just my routine, how I do it. Which includes dropping things on the floor 900 times. It's pretty great. Now we have this So Big bronzer in Tiki. And I just take a big kabuki brush and use it all over my face. I feel like it gives me a nice glow without... Some bronzers get really dark and I have a really light complexion as you can tell so it's not all bronzers work for me. I really, again, recommend this one by Hard Candy. Nothing in this video is sponsored but if you want to sponsor me, I'll put my email below. Now I'm going to contour, blush, and highlight. Um, on a day that I'm just sticking around, might not have any plans, I don't really do anything dramatic but... I have the MAC Matte in Harmony that I use for my contour and just a little brush. And I go right below my cheekbones, my jawline, and the sides of my nose. Then I take, and it's really old and running out, this is, oh I don't even know, this is Margin by MAC. Um, I don't think you can even see any of it. There's some on the edges, but I'm just going to use it with this fluffy brush. And for highlight, I have ooh, Light Scapade by MAC. This is so big, I don't know that I'll ever even finish it, but I just use my finger. Do that. For eyebrows, I'm using the Benefit Little Brow Medium Kit. And I just use a little gel on the side and the flat brush. I start at the front and I sweep back. I don't do much um, like shaping when I fill in my brows because I suck at it. So I kind of just do whatever. I, I suck, basically at most things so I make it up as I go along. Life lesson! Fake it till you make it, right? For my eyes, I'm going to use a NYX eyeshadow base in just a nice nude color and I use my fingers. 
just like to have a good base on my eyes. Sometimes I just leave it at that and then I'll do like eyeliner eyeliner and mascara. But today I am going to um, actually do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I have two here. Um, I like to use this. It's a it's called Viva Diva. I don't know. I think I accidentally stole this from my old roommate. I'm sorry Emily. Um, I just use the pretty bronzy goldish color that's in the palette with a fluffy brush. And I just use that all over. With my MAC Keepsake Smoky Eyes little palette, I take the Pretty Rose Gold, same brush, and I just fill it in a little bit. I take my Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner, which I have to say, it says it lasts 16 hours. The other day, I cried my eyes out while wearing this, and it did not look like I was crying at all. It is crazy. So it's amazing. Um, I usually start out by just doing half liner and then if I mess up I go full liner. <laughs> That's my little technique with that. But I'm going to start with half liner and we'll see what happens. And again, I tug at the corners of my eyes. I'm not a trained professional. I know that I'll have wrinkles one day from tugging at the corners of my eyes. If you can do your eyeliner without tugging the corners of your eyes, beautiful. Please do. My trick with winging liner, especially when I'm using just a crayon like this, is at the bottom of my eye, I go out and make a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I meet it from the top of my eye into a point and I fill it in. That's how I wing my liner. And then if you want to make it bigger, you can just keep expanding it out. And then usually I'll add just a little bit on the bottom. Kind of pull it all in. So my eyeliner got a lot darker than I was expecting. That's okay. And sometimes you just have to walk away from the eyeliner. Say so I accept that we might be uneven on both sides and let it go. So next I'm going to take my Maybelline Falsies Volume Express and I just do my lashes. What I'm going to call this is non-traditional beauty guru gets ready and does everything horribly. That's this is going to be hot. Um, that is just my simple, quick, and easy makeup routine for the summer. Thank you so much to everyone who participated in my giveaway. I definitely will be doing more of those in the future because I think they're really fun. And congratulations again to Leilani. And that's all I have for you today. Hello! I got her in a video. She's afraid to be in videos because she thinks people on the internet are mean, which they are mean. So but not all of them are mean. Not everyone. No. But if someone's been mean to you on the internet, comment below of what they said to you or did to you. Just because we're curious about it. Has anyone been mean to you on the internet? Probably. Probably. <laughs> you know, we'll get less awkward as time goes on. It's just me. You're not awkward, just me. <laughs> she has to get used to the camera. Yes. Being on the YouTubes for Sundays. Yeah. Um, so we decided to wipe my whole disk drive and we couldn't figure it out. We had to call our boyfriend and he had to help us over the phone mm -hmm, because he did. my computer's not letting me upload videos and that's a problem. So right now we have 12 minutes left so we're just killing time so I'm vlogging us. And this is who I went shopping with because you're going to see all the clothes in the video. Yes yeah, so and now we have matching clothes and matching journal. Because we're twins. Yes. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, it's Katie and I went shopping today with my friend Lindsay so I thought I would do just a little mini haul for you to just show you. We went to Powell's and American Apparel and so I got some fun things and I will show you them now. First of all, they stuffed all $53, no $70 of what I bought in this small little bag. So that shows you that I didn't buy that much but I spent a lot. The first thing I got, a jelly 
shoes! Like from when we were in the 90s and we were little. So I'm very excited. They're actually pretty comfortable. You, they're really flexible. And everyone's going to make fun of me when I wear them and it's going to be great. I wonder if they can even see that. Can you see that? Let's hope we can see that. Then I got this cute little baby doll dress and Lindsay actually got the same one. We got twin dresses. So now we have to call each other before we hang out and make sure that we're not wearing the same thing. But this is the dress. It's just simple, easy, fun. I wish I was wearing it right now, but I'm not. Then we went to Powell's. Which, if you're not from Portland, I guess you wouldn't know what Powell's is, but it's a big bookstore downtown, and they sell books and gifts and everything. It's humongous. Google it. So I got this little card, this little greeting card, and it says, you're my favorite person to make questionable decisions with. And I didn't know who I bought it for, I just bought it so that I can mail it to a friend one day. And then my favorite purchase is this journal. So it says, all good things are wild and free. And I love the way it opens, so it just opens flat. I can bend it if I want. The inside is cute and easy. And it's nice and big, because I have really big handwriting, so it's awesome. That's all I bought because Lindsay won't show you the stuff that she bought because she's afraid to come on camera. So that's my mini haul that I'll probably tack on to the end of the video that I'm going to upload today of me doing my makeup to go shopping for my mini haul. It all works out.